Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel with me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh. Coming to you live, well, not live, uh, coming to you through YouTube on the World Wide Web. Every day. I want to thank uh, Roger and Attack, I think that's how you say it, uh, for subscribing last night. Um, he lives up in uh, Nunavut, and uh, Nunavut's a part of part of Canada, and uh, it's very cold there. Like <laughs> I always complain about how it's cold here, but man, it's like double cold there. Um, and not only that, they only get two kinds of dip. They get Coke, Snuff, and Long Cut, and uh, they got to pay thirty two bucks a can, which is like more than I got to pay here. Mocha, settle down, the kitties. Um, so yeah, anyhow, uh, thanks for subscribing, man. I hope you can hang out and dig the channel. I do a lot of different stuff here, play a lot of harmonica, other instruments. I do some dip reviews when I can, and I can right now. And uh, I'm kind of revisiting a lot of stuff, I think, because... You know, it is what it is. But um, this one is um, one of my all-time favorite dips ever. Uh, we first started getting this back in 1997, I think, uh, in Canada. And then the, the great tobacco apocalypse happened and we lost all of our flavored dips. But uh, so whenever... Hillary sends me this. It's it's fucking like gold to me. Um, skull, whoa, skull long cut spearmint. I fucking love this dip so much. It's one of my all time favorites. Um, yeah, it's amazing. And it used to come, I guess, recently. Uh, they only made it in pouches. Uh, for a while and the pouches are just as good as the long cut that's the only pouch product I would say is as equally as good as the long cut um, you just have to try them to know but they're out of, out of uh, they're they're not in they're not making them right now they're making the long cut so this is what we got and it's awesome I fucking love this stuff if you're a, a mint dipper um, which I primarily am when I can get my hands on American dip uh, and went back way back in the day when Skull, Skull Classic Mint came out and Rooster Mint was out they used to dip that shit all the time but uh, Spearmint is um, no other no other company makes a Spearmint dip as far as I know and Skull does it really well uh, you don't I don't think you really need another another one because this one's really good. Um, so yeah, the can is uh, a beautiful kind of sea foam green burst sort of thing. I don't know. It's a nice color, I think. Um, much lighter than the 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 blue peppermint. Um, mocha. Hold on, just a sec. Good gracious, people. Yeah, so this is the can. Uh, I've cracked it already. Skull Spearmint, Long Cut, uh, blah, 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 blah. U.S. Smokeless Tobacco, Nashville, Tennessee, barcode. Smokeless Tobacco is fucking amazing. Make your deck fall off. Um, I guess that's not amazing. It says it's not a safe alternative to cigarettes. But you know what? It kind of is. So, so fuck your warning labels. Um, yeah, we yeah, have a nice pinch of this. Now, this is what it looks like in the can. Um, it's got the typical skull cut. Skull, skull has a across the board good cut. Um, it's just kind of perfect, you know. The, the only thing about skull dip is that it's manufactured uh, uh, to be a little bit drier product and that's kind of across the board with almost every school product I've had it's it's a drier 
a drier product. And I think they go for that intentionally. Uh, suit and tie, dip and shoe guy said in one of his earlier videos um, that he thinks it's because school was when they started uh, started doing stuff. They were marketing towards the people who were quitting cigarettes and saying, switch over to dip. It's a much safer alternative. And uh, the, the first thing you got to get used to as a dipper is uh, the spitting. And, uh, you know, you got to spit all the time. And uh, unless you want to swallow the, the juice and get a tummy ache. Um, so, yeah, when skull dip, you actually don't really have to spit as much, I find. So, I'm going to have a nice pinch here. A nice Friday morning pinch of spearmint. There we go. Cheers, everybody. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Damn. It's just such a such a crisp. It's it's like a really crisp spearmint. Uh, it's the only way I can figure how to describe it. It's not overly sweet. It's not not sweet. Um, it's just a perfect, like, perfect. It's like, you know that the Wrigley's, uh, the white Wrigley's gum, the uh, Wrigley Spearmint gum? It's kind of like that, uh, but with the tobacco undertone. You know what I mean? It's it's just great. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't speak highly enough about this dip if if i uh could access this on the regular i would dip it all the time i used to dip it a lot back in the 90s when it came out but uh i remember back then too i was thinking about this um back before the tobacco apocalypse happened um uh, now the dip cans we we got in canada until recently, just recently, they've started having uh, tin lids. But, uh, you know, through most of my life uh, where I've been dipping, it's Canada cans are always in a plastic can, plastic lid. And, uh, and then for a while, uh, it was kind of when school, like school berry came out and school, school spearmint couple other flavors came out and they they reduced the can to like it was like half a can it was like one of these but like half as tall you know so it was just like a fucking couple pinches in a can really and they cost just as much um the price when they came out the price of dip went from four bucks to six bucks and the can was half the size and at that point i switched to nasal snuff for a while because uh, I thought that was bullshit. <laughs> but now it's fucking 30 bucks a can. <laughs> and you can't get anything, really. Anything other than the only... We get good stuff, but it's not very much. So... But yeah, Skull Spearmint. 10 out of 10 on the Dirty Dip Register. I'm pretty, you know... It's pretty hard for me to find a, a dip I don't like. Mainly because... Uh, I'm Canadian, and uh, pretty much anything I can get other than Copenhagen Naturals and uh, Straits uh, are exotic and wild to me these days, you know. I haven't had them in years. And, uh, yeah, super good. Um, what was I going to say? Anyhow, I think I got my recording done yesterday for the RPM challenge. I just have to uh, arrange it into an album, uh, maybe edit it a bit. But uh, I'm pretty happy with it, just for just for shit off the top of my head, make, making it up for the radio. Um, and now, I, I showed you before, I built a contraption, it's like a wooden board with my metal tambourine nailed onto it and a couple cookie tin lids and a bike bell and I, I, I just have to step on it and it makes like a, a cool tambourine sound right 
Now, I was at the music store yesterday. I had to replace my, my D harp, and I got one of these new special 20s. Um, and after playing it for a bit, now I, ne I was never really a big special 20 player just because of the plastic body. As, uh, you know, I like the wood bodies, but these are a solid harp. They were very good. And uh, these new ones are not bad. I haven't played a special 20 in 20 years. And uh, yeah, this one is. It's pretty decent. Maybe I just got a good one or something like that. But, yeah, it's good. But while I was at the music store, um, I found a, a foot, uh, this thing called a Cajun foot tambourine. And it straps onto my shoe. And I can fit it in my gig box. So it's much easier to carry around than my my plank of noise. <laughs> the, the noise plank. Um, so I'm pretty happy about this. I might get another one for my other foot. Um, this is going to be good for busking in the summer too. So yeah, wicked stuff. And, uh, I've been, I've been expecting a package from my dear friend, Bone Daddy. Uh, I, I endorse his microphones. Uh, I play them and endorse them. Bone Daddy ghetto microphones. Check him out on Facebook. He's kind of clearing out his old stock right now so he can start building new stuff. And the stuff he's got is incredible. But uh, he's sending me a package, um, and I'm not really sure what's in it, but uh, I've been tracking it, and it's in Peterborough now, and I should probably get it today or sometime between now and Monday. So I'm excited to see about that, and when I get, when I get that, I will definitely be doing a Bone Daddy unboxing vlog about it. So there you go. So yeah, anyhow, um, thanks again to Roger. Uh, thanks again for all all my subscribers and supporters. Uh, you know, I do these dip reviews, but if you really want good dip reviews, go see Suit and Tie Dip and Chew Guy, Berg's Dip Reviews, Winnington Outdoors. Those are the best dip review channels on YouTube concerning American smokeless tobacco. Um, I do my best here but I'm very limited in what I can do and often when I get stuff to get get stuff that I don't get here um, it's stuff I've reviewed before so I probably reviewed this before but we'll do it again because that's just how how it's going got to talk about something all right everybody have a great blessed Friday um, I'm not going to be around too much this weekend I have a very busy weekend but uh, I'll probably be back later today. So be well, stay free, be the best you that you can be. And fucking give it, bud.